<clears throat> hello, 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 everyone. How's everyone doing tonight? Very good. Hey, Barbara, how are you? Let me try and get my comments up here. Okay. Hey, Sandy. Hey, Barbara. Hey, Patricia. How's everyone doing tonight? Hey, Linda. How's it going? It's Thursday. Woo. All right. So tonight, hey, Jackie. Speaking of Jackie, here is a new sign I just got from Jackie with um, Crazy Chicken Lady Custom Wreaths and Signs. And I have her link up in the um, description. Hey, Susan. Hey, Sherry. Hey, Jamie. Um, I love, love, love this. It says, Wise Men Still Seek Him. So like I said, I have the link there if, and Jackie is on. So if you guys have any questions about it, um, ask her about it. I'm doing great, Barbara. So that's the sign we're going to use. I love it, love it, love it. Hey, Terry. So from Thomasville, North Carolina. I went shopping there for furniture once in Thomasville. Okay. So that's what we're going to use. We're going to use this square um, wreath frame. Hey, Cindy. Hey, Janet. Um, what I did was I just put one in the very inner row here on the corner, and then I measured out like four to five inches, put another one, and then on the bottom row, I did them on the corner also, and then I just um, put one on the divider here, and then one in the middle, one on the divider. So that's how I made this um, square one. I like using square ones. It makes a little bit different wreath. So um, I don't know. It's just a little different. So I'm going to use 10 inch mesh. And hey Muriel. And I am going to use the poof method. So it's probably going to turn out a little thin. So I know we're going to have to, um, you know, probably do the zigzag like I've showed you guys before. Hey Muriel. Hey Willie. So you can use 21 inch. It'll be um, a little... You know, it'll give you a little more coverage, but I just wanted to use the 10 inch because I have a lot of 10 inch black and I wanted to, so I wanted to use some. So let's get started. So I'm going to start in the corner so that when I come back around, I can just go um, to the bottom. Hey, Terry, how are you? So I'm using my handy dandy mesh roller because I love this thing. Um... If you guys want the affiliate link for that, let me know. Hey, Norma. And I'm just going to start here. And this is a 16-inch square frame. And um, I got this from Walmart. I don't know if they still sell them or not, but that's where I got it. Hey, Linda. And I'm just going to do 10-inch poofs. Hey, Maria. And this mesh is it's thin. But um, that's okay because we have a lot of stuff to put on it. Hey, Sharon. If you guys could share this, I would appreciate it very much. So we're just going to go around and do 10-inch poofs around the whole thing. Hey, Dora. Hey, Debbie. So how are you guys doing tonight? Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday. Hey, Sandy. Hey, Teresa. <clears throat> now, with those signs, she can customize them. She can make them different colors. Um, so if you like the, the sign and just aren't crazy about the black and gold. Um, oh, absolutely, Barbara. Yep. Yep, just give them a call and tell them that I sent you. Yep. Hey, Dee, how are you? I am doing well. Yeah, Barbara, if you need their contact information, um, just send me a message when this is over and I'll send you the um, their phone number. But you should just be able to go online and um, type in Ed London Wreath and their phone number should come up. But like I said, if you would please tell them that I sent you. Hey, Lori, how are you tonight? Yep. Hey, Johnny. Johnny, did you get my message? Hey, Ann. So 
So like I said, I know I'm using 10 inch mesh and it would be better if you use 21 inch, but I just like the 10 inch. So, hey, Anne. So like I said, I'll go in and do that little zigzag thing and it'll cover it up. I'm doing great, Lori. Okay, good, Sandy. Hey, hey, Sandy. Good, Johnny. So I'll call you when I get off here. So this is just the basic mesh. That's why you can see, like, there's not a lot of metallic in it. I mean, there's a little bit, but um, there's not a lot. So that's why it is a little more see-through. So... I was so excited. I got this sign yesterday. I have like, I have the perfect ribbon, I think. So we'll see. All right. So we're getting back to the beginning here. And I am going to open up this tie and put it back in. <clears throat> like I said, if you guys could share this, I would appreciate it. All right, so now we went around once, and that's the whole top row. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it on the corner here, and I'm just going to bring it down into the bottom one. Now, you don't want to pull too hard because it'll pull your poof. So you just want to kind of loosely pull it down there and then connect it. All right. And then just go around doing the same thing. Okay, hey Charlotte, from a Longhorn country. Thanks for sharing, Jackie. Thanks, Sandra. So, do you guys have any big plans? Where do you buy all your pre -room? And, Um, Teresa, I buy it all over. I buy some from Craft Outlet. Um, some from Lion Ribbon, which is a wholesale place, um, local places like AC Moore, Michael's, um, Hobby Lobby. It's really just wherever I can find it, to be honest. Um, at home, I bought some at the at home store a couple weeks ago. Thanks, Connie. Oh, and don't forget, if you guys don't receive live alerts, um, just type live in the comments and you will get a message and you just have to respond to that message and then you will um get an alert every time i go live oh no that has to be scary cindy Ugh, that has to be scary i can't even imagine going through that like that's crazy <clears throat> Crazy, crazy, crazy. Hey, Michelle. Yeah, I can't even imagine going through a hurricane, that kind of stuff. Hey, Dawn. That's going to be a scary thing. Also, if you type live, um, I have a coupon in there, too. Hey, Diane that you will get 15% off um, a wreath in my Etsy shop. So if you just hit live and want that coupon, um, you just hit the, cu the um, Etsy shop and you'll get um, the coupon also. So when you go to check out, it'll just automatically um, take 15% off. Yes, it is a square frame. Yep. What keeps blinking? Oh, Johnny, I can't now. I wouldn't stay. I'd be scared to death. It was bad in North Carolina. Hey, Trixie. I am making a um, square framed wreath. Oh, hey, Billy. I know. I was like, I, I don't want to butcher your name. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Is anyone else having problems? Try going out and coming back in, Jackie. 
Yeah, I can't even imagine staying through a hurricane or anything like that. Like, I would be scared to death. Like, what do you do? There's no place to run. Hey, Verlene, how are you? <clears throat> oh, no, Susan. Hey, Blanche, how are you? Oh, tornado. Oh, my goodness. Now, do you, do you have some place to go if you have a tornado? Like, do you have a tornado shelter or anything like that? Like, where do you go? Hey, Kathy. I would be so scared. I would not know what to do. We've only had one tornado here, and it missed us. Yeah, right, the tornadoes. Oh, thank you, Millie. Okay, almost around here. I did, Diane. Yep. You know me. I always like to make my own forms. Oh, Charlotte, I can't even imagine. I cannot even imagine. Ugh. Yeah, I just wouldn't want to do it. We go to the same place, um, condo building in Myrtle Beach every year. And um, the people that we rent from, there's some people that like live in the building all year round. And they stayed. And I'm like, oh my goodness. Like they couldn't get out because uh, like the water went right through the condo, like the whole first floor. And I was like, oh my, I can't, I can't, I can't even imagine. Like, what do you do? You know, where do you go? There's no place to go. Hey, Sheila. So we're almost back at the beginning. <clears throat> so you can see, like you can really see, you know, the frame because this is thin mesh. Oh no, for six days? Oh. I'm like, I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure you can't even like get anything because everyone's buying this stuff, right? Hey, Aurora, that's a pretty name. Oh, wow. All right. So as you guys can see, that's around the top and the bottom. And it's pretty thin. Like I can see the frame all the way through it. So what I do is then I go through and kind of do the zigzag method. <clears throat> uh, this is a 16 inch. No, they're the same size, Terry. This is a 16 inch um, square frame. So now what I do is when I do the zigzag, I go from the bottom to the top, to the bottom, to the top, to the bottom, to the top. 332 days. Oh, 33 days. I was going to say, holy cow. Okay. And it just helps to fill in where it's light. And I don't really measure these. I just kind of eyeball it. So now I'm going to go back to the bottom. Wow. I can't even, yeah, I can't even imagine. Because, like, where do you go? I mean, there's no place to go. It's not like you can go anywhere to get away from it. Ah, oh, Jack, are you back? <clears throat> Oh, wow. You've never left. I can't imagine. Hey, Brenda. I just can't. I would be so scared. I would be so scared. No, they're the regular size. They just, they do seem a lot longer. I don't know why they do, but they're the, they're the normal size. Hey, Remy, how are you? So you can see it's filling it in a little more. I'm going to have to get another roll. Oh, no, Trixie. That's terrible. So you leave to get away from it, and then it comes right back, or it goes where you're going. That's, that's the same. All right, so I use that whole roll, and I'm going to get another roll going here, which I knew because this is a bigger frame. Um that I'd probably need another roll. Yeah, it's a regular um 
16 inch square frame and it is 10 inches yep like i said if you would use the um the 21 inch mesh it would cover more because obviously you're going to have bigger poofs but um i don't know i just went for the 10 inch because i have a lot of black 10 inch so the 21 inch would definitely cover it more i'm just trying to use up my 20 my um, 10 inch mesh to be honest <laughs> So that's why I chose to use it. So I'm just going to go down this way to the corner to cover up that corner. And then zigzag up to here and keep going. Yeah, I just, I have a lot of rolls of 10 inch of the black. So I was like, you know what, I want to use it up. So that's why I did the 10 inch. Otherwise I would have done the 21 inch. Hey Susan, how are you? Hey Colleen. Yep, it's 10 inch Charlotte, yep. Yeah, that's the only reason I did, because I have like 10 rolls of this mesh, and I'm like, you know what, I need to use up this black mesh. Oh, oh my goodness, oh, my Facebook's going to make me log in. Oh, my Facebook just went wonky. That was crazy. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, because my Facebook just went a little weird. But it looks okay on my screen. Try going out and coming back in, Charlotte. See if that works. Okay, I'm just going to cut that off. Every day? Huh. I don't... Does anybody else have any problems with it being blurry? Because um, it should be good. Like, I'm using the Mevo, which usually makes it clear. It might just be your internet. To be honest, I hate to say that, but it might just be your internet connection. All right, so I'm just going to take this and start where I left off here. Yeah, Joanne sells the square ones. I know you can get them at um, Craft Outlet, other places, but I had find, found these at Walmart when they were selling them, so... I picked up a couple at Walmart because I do kind of, it just makes a little bit of a different, um, oh boy, Kim, praying for all my folks in Richmond surrounding area. Yeah, sometimes it's people's internet. I mean, I'm not saying it can't be mine, but sometimes it's just your internet connection that's going wonky or something. I don't know. <clears throat> Okay, so, so you can see here, like this side um, is the second, the zigzag going through and it looks fuller. And then this side you haven't gone yet, so you can kind of, you know, see through it a little bit more. So it does help to kind of, you know, go back and forth with it. Okay. All right, and we are back at the beginning. No, we're not. Okay. So I'm going to go here. And I love using the mesh roller because the mesh roller really kind of helps hold your mesh. You're not like throwing it on the floor and it's not rolling around all over the place, um, you know, and getting stuck on stuff. So. Yes, it is a square frame, Reba. Yep. I like using square frames every once in a while. It just makes a totally different look. Hey, Peggy. Welcome. So it just fills it in when you do the zigzag, too. Hey, Susie. How are you? Gee, Susie, I was just talking about the mesh roller. Susie is the inventor of the mesh roller, and he sells the mesh roller. So like I said, I have an affiliate link. If you guys are interested in that, let me know. Hey, Janet. Okay. 
the mesh holder is from um, Susie's Reese. I got it from, let me see, I'll put my affiliate link up there for you. That's for the mesh holder. I'm doing well. How are you, Bessie? Yep, so go to that link. And I have the deluxe one that folds down. And what I love about it, number one, is it's three tiers. So you can put like six rolls of 10 inch mesh, three rolls of 21 inch mesh. Um, I just, Kim, I just posted it. You might not be able to click on it until after the live is over. Um, but once the live's over, the link should work. Because it doesn't always work when I'm still on live. Help me. So that I I just sent you the link so you have it. Um, anyway, one the one thing I like is it does hold a lot. And another thing I like is it folds down flat. So if you want to take it on vacation with you, which you know, I'm a little crazy that way, so I take my stuff on vacation. It's nice because it folds flat and you don't have to worry about carrying this big bulky thing around, you know. And it holds tons of rolls of ribbon. So. And you'll see when I do my streamers, I love it to, to hold my ribbon when I do that too. Oh, no problem, Kim. Yeah, you'll love it. I mean, she has different ones. Like I said, this is the deluxe one. I like the deluxe one. I had her single one. And then um, I was like, I got to get the deluxe one. This is a 16 inch square wreath frame. Lucy, I got this one from Walmart. And, you know, I don't know. Half the time, I'm, I, I haven't seen them there lately. So I don't even know if they're selling the square ones anymore or not. But I haven't seen them there. No problem, Kim. But you will love it. You will absolutely love it. Okay, so we're back to beginning. And so now I'm just going to cut it off here. I'm doing 10 inch poof, Sharon. All right, so I'm just going to cut this off. <clears throat> going to kind of spread everything out a little bit now. Don't forget to type live if you want alerts. And you have to respond to that live so you get on the, um, the list. If you don't respond, you won't, it won't send them to you. So you have to respond. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Okay. So now I have decided that, um, like, instead of putting the, this in the middle, which I could do. Let me know what you guys think. Do you like it in the middle? Like that, because I was actually going to put it, like, on the corner. Okay, let me know. Do you like it this way? Or... I could put it on the corner here and then I was going to put like bows on three of the three of the other corners. I curl them, Bobby. I curl them in. So what do you guys think? The center or the corner? Middle? Um, I used a lot of pipe cleaners for this. The square you're going to use a lot. You know what? I didn't even count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I used twelve just for the top. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen for the bottom. 
corner, 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 middle, middle. <laughs> so we're all over the place. Some went in the corner, some went in the middle. All right. <clears throat> Oh, Kim. Ugh. Corner. All right. So what I think I'm going to do is I, I think I'm going to put it in the corner. I don't know. It looks good both places. Middle. Middle, 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 middle. Oh, Peggy, I have to show you. I have two options today um, that I kind of like. So... Um, I'll show you, remind me to show you before I get off. All right, let's try it in the corner and see what you think. I have bows and I have ribbon flowers that I'm putting on it. The ties are about four to five inches apart, Jeannie. <clears throat> All right, so I use these little um, zip ties so that um, it doesn't go through the mesh. So we'll try it on the corner. If we don't like it, we'll move it. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. I kind of marked where I wanted this. Let's give it a shot and see how it looks. We can always move it. Yeah, I made some of the ribbon flowers to go on it. And I made um, a couple of bows. I still have to make one more bow. So... Okay, Kathy, thanks. All right. Oops. I, think I need another pipe cleaner. This way. My fingers are, look, my, can you guys see my fingers are all yellow from the gold tinsel? Oh my goodness. I was like, what in the world is going on with my fingers? It's from the pipe cleaners. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> the t the, my fingers are all yellow. Can you guys see that? That's crazy. Woo. All right. Get this out of the way. And let's pick a corner. Hey, Alan, how are you? Oh, these are just popsicle sticks that I put on here to raise the um, the staples so they don't go through the front of the sign. Okay, so let's see here. I know, right? I've never had that before. It's crazy. The tinsel's coming right off of my fingers. Yeah, they're just pipe clean, or they're just um, popsicle sticks that I cut down, and I put them so that um, the staples don't go through the sign. Hey, Jane, how are you? <clears throat> just let me get through here. Yeah, because you don't want your staples going through the um, your sign because... It'll ruin the sign. So I just um, put that on there so they don't go through. Okay. All right. Just gonna attach it here. That is crazy. Never had that happen before. My fingers are yellow. <laughs> Crazy, crazy, crazy. I think I got these at the Dollar Tree. The um, yellow ties. That is too funny. And I'm just attaching it a couple different places. So 
so that it doesn't move around. <clears throat> oh, thanks, Jeannie. I appreciate that. Okay. All right. I think we have it where we want it. Let me just double check before I tighten it and everything. Yep, I think so. See? Kind of, we'll put it like this. Oh, good. Yeah, you know, you just have to work up your nerve to do the lives. That's what you have to do. You just have to work up your nerve. All right, so I already made two bows. So I'm going to put those on. And then I'll need to make one more. Okay, so I'm just going to put this one in the corner. This one here. Oh, good. Is it Kusara? Okay. I'll put that one there. And I'm going to make a third one, but I thought I'll make two of them so you guys don't have to sit here while I make three bows. Thank you. I know, isn't it pretty, Jean? Meant to put <laughs> no problem, Teresa. Yeah, the sign came from the Crazy Chicken Lady Custom Signs and Wreaths. Okay. All right, so that's the two bows. That's awesome, Alan. I know it is scary the first couple times you go live. It's really scary. But once you get used to it, um, and everyone is usually so nice. Thanks, Norma. All right, so I'm just going to tuck this one in. Get that one going. Now that my fingers are yellow. <laughs> crazy 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 yeah something different right all right so now that's what it looks like right now and I'm gonna make that um, third bow here well, Trixie one step ahead of you one step ahead all right so we're going to make another bow. Um, thanks, Brent. Thanks, Barbara. Is Etsy worth it? Was your question? I think it is. Now it's it's. I mean, it is kind of hard to get sales. Um, you kind of have to. You know, it's hard to get found on Etsy. But. Um, it's, you know, it, to me, I, I like Etsy for now. You know, I mean, am, will I change in the future? Maybe. I don't know. All right. So I'm going to cut two pieces of um, wire here. And for these bows, I did them on row B because I wanted it to be a little smaller of a bow. I usually do my bows on row C. But I wanted them to be a little smaller since I was putting three on and putting them in the corner. So I made them just a little bit smaller. I'm um, sure, Alan, my um, glue gun, let me show you. I have an affiliate link for that. I can show you where I got it. Where is it at here? Oh, here it is. 
I got it off of Amazon. I love my glue gun. But that's where you can get the glue gun at. Okay. So I'm going to, thanks Pam, I'm going to um, use four one and a half inch ribbons and two two and a half inch ribbons. I'm just going to see if I can get some of this yellow off my fingers. <laughs> I don't want it to get on the ribbon. No problem, Alan. Thank you, Stephanie. I appreciate that. That is crazy. I got a little of it off. <laughs> Never seen that before. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, now, like I've said before, this is my version of the cherry bow, it's not the exact version that she does. Um, I just kind of, you know, tweaked it a little bit. Hey, Gail, how are you? So, I'm going to get this bow going. <laughs> yeah, right, Johnny? Oh, my goodness. Never had that before where my fingers turn the colors of the pipe cleaners. Oh, great. Yeah, I love the glue gun. You may want to order an extra battery, though, because um, that way you always have two batteries, one that's charging and one that's on your glue gun. Oh, sure, Kim. I'll leave you guys in a little bit. Sorry. Move you guys up. Okay. Is that better? All right. So the top one, you go clockwise around the peg. And then, hey, Barb from Lancaster County. And then the bottom one you put around the nail on the bottom there. And then I'm just going to dovetail the ends here. And turn them up. Oh, thank you, Carol. Okay. And then I'm going to take the second wire. It's called the helping hand wire. And I'm going to feed it between here. You see that? Between here and to the right. Okay, and bring it all the way here to the back, right here. And then just do one twist. Is that too close or is that good? All right, then I'm going to take my second one. No problem, Kim. All right, and I'm just going to measure out to the B peg for the length, and then I'm going to gather it, put it in here, okay, hold it there, and put it around that finger number one, gather it. And finger number one over here. And then I'm going to tie it off. Now when you tie these off, you only want to give it one good twist because you don't want bulk building up back here. And then I just take it to this. I put my scissors against here. And then I cut it. And I kind of always make my tails long because you can't add ribbon on them. But hey, Donna. So that's why, and I will cut them down, but I like them long to begin with. Okay, so we're going to do the same thing. Go out to the B, gather it, put your tail there. You're going to hold that there, wrap that around that one, gather it, twist, wrap it around this one. Okay, tie it off. And do the same thing. I hold the ribbon over here and cut it off. <clears throat> I've done with those three. Get that out of the way. And then we'll get our fourth ribbon. Hey, Rosie, how are you? Hey, Donna. Rosie, how's your foot? Did you, have a, did you get a cast on it? Okay, hold it back there. 
there. Go around, pinch it, and twist. Go around. Um, I'm on the East Coast, Alan, and it is 20 of 8 here. Pinch it and then tie it off. What time is it there? Oh, no. Are they going to cast it, Rosie, or just uh, leave it in one of those, like, boot-type things? 640. Yeah, 640. Mm -hmm. All right, so then we're going to take our two ribbons over here. All right. Get this down here. Okay. I have this um, black and gold ribbon, and then this Merry Christmas black with the. Oh, awesome, Kim. That's exciting. Now, don't be intimidated by it. You can do it. Okay, so just line it up there. Oh, wow. Okay, put that there, and then I do tie this off. And put it around finger one. Or finger three and four, I mean, sorry. And pinch. And twist. Oh, okay. Okay. Now what I like about the pro bow is see I'm not even I'm not holding that and it's not going anywhere. So it does help, you know, with your fingers and that kind of stuff. Now, I will tie it off every couple because you don't want it to kind of get loose. But I will tie it off every every couple of them. Oh, wow. All right. 1.42 a.m. Oh, my goodness. Keep doing the same thing, just kind of pinch it and then twist around this finger. Hey, Teresa, no problem. And pinch it, twist on the last finger. Tied off. Oh, I know. Oh, that's crazy, Rosie. And then again, I'm just going to make this tail a little longer. I'm going to fold it in half, and I'm just going to take it out a little further. Okay. All right, then what I'm going to do is just twist these two helping hand wires together. Rachel, how are you? Okay. I know weird and crazy things always happen to me, so. Um, I don't believe so, Faith. No, she doesn't have any um, discounts on her holders. All right, let me get this out of the way. But they are well worth the money. Okay, so then you unwind this here. Okay, and again, you want to stick your finger down here and make sure that that wire is completely off of that peg because if not, you're going to not have a very nice bow. Okay, and then tighten that one as tight as you can. 
and then twist. Also, the game was an important hot Oh, we'll have to go back and watch it, Alan. Oh, thanks, Mary. Well, a lot of practice, really. That's all it is, is just practice. If you practice, you can get it. Like I said, just go to the dollar store and buy a bunch of the dollar ribbon and just keep practicing with it. That's all you really need to do. All right, now to get it, the bow off easily, I take the center peg out. And then your bow will just lift right off. I'll take these off. Oh, well that's good, Rosie. At least some good news, right? Okay, get my fluff box. All right. Now, see how long these tails are? I am going to trim them a little bit because, like I said, I always leave them long. Um, and then I'll go in and trim them, but I just want to make sure I have them long enough. That's, I always worry about that. Okay, so you're going to put the wire around there and then just around the nail. And then you're just going to start to fluff it out. And don't be afraid to really yank on these. Let me move you guys up a little bit. Oh, that's a good idea, Alan. And I want the tails both in the same direction, so that's why I'm putting them both over here. Okay, and then you just start spreading everything out. And I am yanking on these pretty good, so if your wire's tight, you don't have to worry about it coming undone or anything like that, so. I'm just going to put this here and this tail over here. Tail here. Loop here. Okay, I'm going to turn it around. And do the same thing on this side. And as I'm fluffing it out, I'm also putting my fingers in and kind of poofing them up also. Okay. that one over here and there it is tail there okay and then my little center button there is the glide view the other to me okay so that's the third bow. Okay, let's get it off of here. And put it on the wreath. Oops. All right, I'm just going to raise you guys up a little bit now. So I'm just going to put that bow over here. Tails going that way. Oh, thanks, Donna. I use a um, 22. Is it 22? Mine's a 22 gauge wire. Um, when I was using the tw uh, the 26, um, I know we have to do that, uh, Johnny. I just thought of that today. Yeah, let me know. Send me a message if you're interested in doing the um, snowman 
tomato cage. And I have the list together. And we can do that together. All right, so I'm just twisting that around there. Okay. Cut this off. All righty. We're getting there. Okay. So that's what it looks like with the three bows. All right. Can you guys see it? All right. So that's what it looks like. Now, here is my question. I made some of my ribbon flowers. You guys have seen these. Um, and so what I'm wondering is, do I just add these or do I add streamers underneath? <clears throat> so I'm going to put one of these on and see what we think. Twenty-two gauge is a little thicker. Yes, I did that a little too tight. Yeah, the lower the number, the thicker the gauge of the wire. Yep, yeah, right, Trixie. I know. I was like, what can I put on here? And I'm like, aha. Yeah, I've showed them a bunch of times, but I knew you guys were going to ask to see them too, so. All right, so. So I was wondering if I just do the those, or do I... I was trying to decide if I should put streamers on it. Yes, I do have a video um, making the ribbon flowers, but we may need more, so I'm not sure. This one and this one. Okay, so I'm going to, um, I don't know if it is on there, probably is. So let me get these on here and see what you guys think. <clears throat> All right, so I'm going to cut these. Because I wasn't sure if I was going to. Oh, did you like it? Was it fuller? Well, the tomato cage um, was going to be a um, on a paid Zoom call. So what I was going to do was have the supply list out. I'd send you guys the supply list. And then once everybody buys their supplies, we'll do a Zoom call. And um, to make it on the Zoom call, it would just cost um, like $9.99. So then it's a video conferencing. So you see me and I see you. So um, that's what I was going to do with the tomato cage. All right. So, or do I add the streamers to it? Yeah. So I don't think it needs... Um, a ribbon flower on every streamer, but maybe it does. I don't know. I do, Blanche. Um, I'll have to. I'll have to um, research that again where it's at. This is what I was thinking of doing.
And if this is what we're going to do, I will need to make more of the ribbon flowers. What do you guys think of that? Can you see that with the ribbon? Do you like that? Or, um, Um, Regina, what I was going to do was provide you with a list of everything that you would need to make the, um, the snowman cage. And then um, you guys would just pay $9.99 and we would make it together on a Zoom call, which is like a video conferencing call. And you guys um, will do it together. Do you like the black and white ribbon on there? Or do you think I should just go with a plain um, gold? All right. That's what we're going to do. All right. Let me put this up here and cut some more of these. Hopefully that doesn't fall. All right. So what I do to cut mine, and this is another reason why I love the mesh holder, because I can't do that winding thing that everybody does. I have a couple options with Rosie I'm going to show you guys. So then I just fold it over at the 14 inch and it makes it so much easier. <clears throat> so then. All right, let me pull a solid gold. Where's my solid gold? Oh, the other gold. Hold on. Oh. this one and see if I put just the solid one on versus that black and white one. <clears throat> okay. Let's see what you guys think of these. We'll put these on and see which set you like better. love this ribbon. Isn't that pretty? Just going to dovetail the ends. So let me put um, a set of these ribbons on and see what you guys think. Let's see which ones you guys like better. So this one here. Okay. And we'll see which ones you guys think you like better. So I cut these to 14 inches. And so I'm going to put these in here and then put the ribbon flower over. Let's see which ones you guys like better. And I'm just kind of weaving this through where the pipe cleaner is and kind of centering it there. Okay, so that is the one choice with the gold and black and just gold. And then this is the other choice with the gold and black and the black and white. What do you guys think? I kind of like in the black and the white. Hmm. Um, I found those at... Um, I found them at AC Moore, and um, you can find them at AC Moore or um, Michael's or any place like that. I, I'm kind of liking the black and the white. I 
think it's a lot of gold using that. So I think I'm going to stick with the black and the white. All right, let me get this out of the way. All right, so let me cut some more of those. I don't know how many we're going to need, but... Caught up my other ribbon. Five, six, seven. You're not sure about the ribbon flowers? Does anyone else not like the ribbon flowers? Oops, that one didn't cut. Um, yeah, a little bit, Blanche. A little bit. Yeah, I'm just kind of not cutting it as much so I can pull it back a little more. Hey, Jackie, you back on? Did you get kicked off? take this one out okay get this one out Some that like the flowers, some that don't like the flowers. Hmm. I'm going to put these right in here and see how that goes. Can I make a star? Um, I guess you could. I've never made one. But I'm sure you can. No, you can't, Kathy. <laughs> no, you can't. That's that's for sure. And that's what's nice about reading. You know, if you don't like something, then you just do it different. I'm almost wondering if I put, I'm going to try something else. Hey, Sandy. Yeah, I don't know that I can make a star like that, but all right. So what I'm thinking is, is putting streamers on both sides of this and putting it in the middle. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Brenda. And putting streamers, like two sets of streamers on it. Okay, and then one set's going to go that way. One set's going to go this way. And putting it right in the middle here. I know, right, Trixie? But everyone's different. Everyone has a little bit 
um, of different tastes. So you just never know what people are going to like. Yeah, so then I'll put these streamers here. And these streamers over here. Oh, I like that. I like it. Okay, so I'm just going to... You tried to get what, Sydney? All right, so what I'm going to do, because I'm not going to use these pipe cleaners now, so I'm just going to go through and um, cut them off. Because I'm not going to use them. You can tuck them under, or you can cut them off, whatever you want to do. Said. If you guys are interested in this sign, make sure you go check out. Um, oh, I didn't make the flower on here, but um, I can show you guys that. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to cut those off and tuck them in and get them out of the way. Yeah, I didn't make a flower, but I, I can show you guys when I'm done. Um, but I do have videos that I've done it before on. Yeah, I like the double ribbon tails. I think that's, that's the ticket. I'm putting it in the middle between those. So have to get the tails right here. There we go. All right. So let me get these. Oh, hold on. I can't see that. Hmm. Oh, trying to see the rest of your comment. I can't see it, SD. <laughs> oh, I know. I'm glad it arrived safe and sound, Sydney. Yeah, she bought the Joy um, Christmas wreath that I made. So I'm just twisting these a little more to make sure that they're secure and then I am um, cutting them off. <clears throat> oh good, yeah everybody go like and follow Jackie's page. She's adding more signs all the time. So, I know, do you like it, Jeannie? I think it did. I mean, I'm still going to add some more of the flowers. Oh, no. Ay, ay, ay. I can't even imagine going through that hurricane. Okay. A couple more here. Oh, no problem, Peggy. Thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to share. Okay. 
Yeah, there was a lot of twist ties on this one. Yeah, it's not your typical um, Oh no, Sharon, are you okay? I hope you're right. Hey, Joy. It's not your typical Christmas with the, um, you know, the red and green and white and stuff, but I kind of like, you know, a little different now and then. that one off because I want to do the double on there. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, of course this one that I put like a gazillion pipe cleaners on it. I'm not using them, so... The black and the white ribbon came from Sam's. Yep, I got that at Sam's. Oh no. Oh, that would be scary, Sharon. Well, I'm glad you're doing better. And my fingers are turning yellow again, guys. <laughs> all right, so I think I got all of them. Let's get these tails on here. So I'm going to put one set of tails going one way. And then another set of tails going the other way. And I cut these tails to 14 inches. Oh yeah, yeah, I used that in um, the gold in that in, in that one. Okay, another set. Okay. All right. No problem. Yeah, that's what I normally do, too, with the pipe cleaners, Debbie. I usually just twirl them, but I thought this time I was just going to cut them off because they were there's a lot of them, and they were all over the place. Um, that might have been last year, Ribbon. I'm not sure. It might, I might have gotten it last year from Sam's. Yeah, so the tails kind of go this way and that way. Yep, let's see. No, that was this year. The black and the white was this year. <clears throat> How do I decide what to make? Um, I normally just start with a sign or some embellishment and just build around that, Pam. So I you know, got the sign and I just built around the sign. And I normally, you know, like pick the mesh and then um, pick the, the ribbon out. So it's going to need something over here. So I kind of usually um, have, you know, kind of choices of what I want to do. <clears throat> so I'm going to put these two together. I have four. Oh, thank you. All right. Okay. Ay, ay, ay. Ribbon everywhere. Okay. Oh, thanks, Becky. They're ribbon flowers that I made. The gold. Okay, so I'm going to pull two this 
way, and two this way. Hmm. <laughs> if I want one down there, over here. Well, thanks, Cindy. Just kind of putting it through the mesh. Yep, absolutely, Becky. You can just save it or share it, and then it will be on your page, and you can watch it anytime. Okay. I mean, I just like the colors in it because it's not your typical Christmas colors. It just looks, you know... All right, what do you guys think? I think it needs a couple things over here, but I don't want to put a flower. Let me see. Did I lose the streamer? Now, since I cut those off. Gonna try putting a couple streamers in here and see what I think. Get through there. Oh, thank you, everyone. Okay. This felt like it needed a little color on here, on this side. Wrapping that around there. Okay. Oh, there it is. my yellow fingers here. These twist ties. <laughs> yeah, I'm really liking the way it turned out. I think it takes Christmas up a notch. Yep, that's what I'm going to do, Debbie. Yep. Because it needs, um, you know, a couple more things here. Yep, that's exactly where I was going with this one. Can you make that type of bow with the easy bow maker? Um, you probably can. I don't use the easy bow maker, but I'm sure you can. You just have to build it. Um, with the pro bow, you build your bow from the top to the bottom. With your easy bow maker, I think you add it, um, you build it from the bottom up. So you would just kind of have to do the opposite, but I'm sure you could. Let me cut that off. And then let me see if I like it there or not. How are you? Okay. 
so I think that's it. I think we're done. Of course, you're always going to have to go back and fluff everything. I like it. It's different. So that's the finished version. Let me pull you guys up a little bit. So that's the finished version. What do you guys think? Like it? Okay. All right. So, oh, let me show you guys. I came up with two options for the center, which I'm not exactly sure about yet of that other wreath. So let me put this back here and let me go grab that. And let me see what you guys think. Okay, alrighty, you guys remember this guy from the other night? So, I came up with, which I don't know if I'm going to use any of them yet, but we'll see. Okay, so this is this guy from the other night, and I feel like he needs to hold something. So, my one option was, obviously with the tag off, this little present but I'm thinking that that's maybe too small what do you guys think okay second option is this little guy which I kind of think he blends in too much so I don't like that one my third option is and is that too big maybe a little smaller yeah that's what I thought too with that present if it was just a couple inches bigger oh thanks Natalie if you guys like this do you think it's you don't think it's too big do you You think the package yeah I know I wish it was bigger I wish it was bigger Let me cut the tag off so let me see again I know I've been looking for a Rudolph bag but I have a book but I haven't been able to find it you think that present is too small? I kind of think the red ball is too big. Um, but I kind of like the box. I blend the box and glue it underneath. Oh, that's a good idea. Like, so he's holding two, because I did buy two. Hold on. Patty Kitchen. Yeah, I bought two of them. So, you know, I could do something like this. I glue those two together and have them holding those two. So I'm just not set on any of them yet. I don't know. Something's just not, I don't know. I wish this present was like almost the size of that, but a little smaller. You like it with two presents and maybe just like a present down here or something on the bottom maybe? I don't know. Like glue the three together like a triangle. That is kind of cute. 
put one a little higher like that I don't have a third but I can go get one um, so maybe I do it like this with a present on the top I know I should just do that but isn't that cute? I like I like the present idea. Yeah, so I don't know. So I'm still working on it. Still trying to figure out what I want. But I know I love him. I can't wait, but I'm just like not set on it yet. So yeah, because I think that ornament's too big. If it was a little smaller, I think it would work. Um that would be cute. Yeah. So I'm still, uh, you know, which do you like, Lori? Do you like the presents or the ball? Yeah, I know. I think, I think I need a third one. Sometimes you just have to like sit on stuff and figure it out. I kind of do like the two presents. Um, you know, something like that maybe. We'll see. I'll figure it out. Yeah, the ornament's too big. Two presents. Yeah, I'm still mulling over. <laughs> I probably do have a candy cane somewhere here. I can find it, but um, yeah. Because I don't want to overtake him, you know? I don't want it to be huge. Yeah, I know I have red Christmas balls here somewhere, but I don't know. But we'll work on it. I miss the reindeer wreath. Where can I buy the reindeer? You like the presents? Two presents are good size. Yeah, I like, I kind of like it, but I just have to figure out how I want to do it. But I, I do like it because I think they're the right size now that I'm looking at it. But I'll have to hang it on the wall and kind of, you know, look at it from a different angle, too, because it's hard to tell here. I know. Isn't he cute? Oh, my gosh. I love him. So, yeah. Yeah, I just have to find that. Um, still working on it, but we'll see. We'll see. All right, guys. That's it for tonight little elf <laughs> I know that's why I saw this guy and I was like maybe he's the right size but he just kind of blends in too much he just becomes part of the wreath so I don't like that but I, I do like the present idea so we'll see I'll have to play with the placement of them and uh, see how it works out but that's it for tonight guys two red presents instead of a red and a white one I know it's just sometimes it's one of those things where you just kind of have to keep going back to it and look at it oh no problem Sydney well thanks you guys that is it for tonight I don't have a Christmas tree I was looking for some today when I was out um, to see what I can do but I don't know and I do have big pine cones I don't know. We'll see. I'll play with it and see some more. <laughs> yeah, the white doesn't blend as much. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much. Have a wonderful evening. And thank you so much. Um, this reindeer I bought at Pat Catan's last year. Um, and I don't know if they're there this year or not. I haven't gotten there yet because it's in Pittsburgh and I'm five hours away from there. But I got him from Pat Catan's last year. He's so cute. All right, guys, the glue gun I got at um, Amazon, and I have a affiliate link for that. I just put up there so you can see that. No problem, Johnny. All right, guys, you all have a wonderful evening, and I will see you Monday night, if not before. Take care, and thanks for watching. Bye.